Max. Max. Max keyboard. Hey guys, welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. I'm Eric, your host, and today we've got a really killer Nighthawk keyboard from the people over at Max Keyboard. Now, one thing that's really cool about the Max Keyboard people is not only do they sell custom keyboards, they make a shit ton of products for customizing your keyboard. Now, not only did these guys send me their keyboard, they actually sent me two modification kits along with the keyboard. So I got this keyboard and then two completely set of different caps that I can put on top to modify it and make it my own way. This thing's coming to market about $149. Let's jump in and let's see how badass this new Max keyboard is. All right, folks, like in the unboxing, we're going to start off with what the hell, the box. So here we got it, the M Max, the Max Keyboard Company, featuring the Nighthawk Backlit Mechanical Keyboard. Now, advanced cherry mechanical switch, 50 million keystroke life, USB full end key rollover, which means you can hit the keys as many times as possible and the keyboard is not going to freak out. Illuminated characters with four levels of brightness, dimming light. 50 macro keys. So the guys out there who like to program all their shit up to play those games, you get 50 macro keys. You also get a game and PC mode switch, which means that if you're just using your keyboard for a standard keyboard to type, it's one way. You want to game, it's another way. Headphone out and microphone in jacks for those type of people who like that and media keys. That way, if you can just want to play your music, hit a button on the keyboard and do all that stuff two USB port outs, and gold-plated connectors. That's the front of the box. I'm kind of going a little anal on this, folks, because we've never actually seen these products before. Here we're taking a look at the back of the box. I'm going to have the cameraman zoom in right here so you guys can take a look at that. You guys can see all these are your multimedia keys on top, your profile keys for your macro, braided cable, audio and USB ports, individual LED backlit, 128K onboard memory, which means you're going to be able to program in your macros and it's going to remember them. Game mode indicator. And then there's basically all this stuff here. I'm not going to ramble on it, but I am going to have the camera and zoom in there just so you can see it. Cherry Mix mechanical switches, individual backlit, you know, basically all the stuff that we talked about in the front. Over here where you see the system requirements, it works with Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. Takes an available USB port and 50 megabytes of hard disk space for the drivers. Inside the box, it says we get the keyboard, the guide, and a wrist pad. So with that said, let's actually quit talking and let's show the product. Oh. <laughs> okay, folks, if you heard that, that was actually me unboxing the box and the box smacking me in the face and hitting the microphone. Fun stuff here at Tech of Tomorrow, that's right. Let's go ahead and open this up and wow, okay. Like I told you guys before, these guys are really, really pushing their keyboards to have multiple, multiple caps. So you can change them out, do whatever you want. So now that I've got the box open though, let's just start taking a look at everything. Now, right off the bat, you can see we've got extra keys. They're all customizable. They have little images on them of different things. More of them, little dice. These are all dice ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, all dicey looking all kinds of little grommet washers there. More customizable keys. These ones all look like little clocks. Very interesting stuff there. More stuff, oh, these are your WASD. -A little different there, eh? Okay, interesting. I guess that all there is though. That's a, a different type of way to do your keys. Huh. W-A-S-D in a different type of way. Very interesting. I even stopped for a second. Here we even get a, this must be a little, a little uh, strap thing. And here's the thing to remove all of the keys is right there. This is a Beyond Limits Max little strap thing. It's probably for you to keep your cabling out of the way. That's probably what that's for. So go ahead and bop that out. Here we have the Max Keyboard Nighthawk Backlit Mechanical Keyboard. This is their little manual and everything. Their user's guide. Just tells more about their stuff, how to hook it up. You guys obviously know that you're going to have to hook up the 3.5 millimeter headphone and microphone jack if you want to be able to hear that and use your microphone. It also tells you how to switching on your backlit keys, gives you instructions on how to do that because some people don't know. So it gives you instructions right there on how to turn it on. That's pretty much that. Keyboard, nice and boxed up nicely in there. We'll go ahead and pull that out now. 
If you guys haven't seen it in a while, and since the same cameraman's back, we're gonna throw shit at the cameraman again. That's right. Go back to the old days and throw shit at the cameraman. That's right. Oh, wow. Hey, folks, I gotta tell you right now, I just felt that wrist pad. So let me just get this stuff out of the way here. All right, so let's start differently, folks. Check this out. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions in the past about, hey, man, where did you get your wrist pad? Your wrist pad's like so cool. And I don't even see where it's at. It's somewhere in here. I hope it's somewhere in here. It didn't get, get in shuffled somewhere. But check this out. Totally soft. I mean, this is really bitching. I'm giving you guys right now, I got to tell you, Max keyboard, this is fracking bitching. Super, totally freaking soft. Oh man, I'm liking this. I hate those ugly, painful plastic ones. This is so soft and so nice. All right, so now that I've got the product completely out of the box, showed you guys the nice wrist rest, gold-plated hardware, USB, 3.5 millimeter, 3.5 millimeter, braided cable, very, very long cable actually as well. Let me go ahead and just get the cable out there, pull that out, I'll see how good and long it is. Because that matters, sometimes you know where you place your keyboard, there might not be a lot of room. And uh, yeah, this looks like it's easily almost a six foot cable. So it's very, very long. In fact, I'll go ahead and get that out of the way and plug it in over here. Turn the computer on and uh, we'll see when the keyboard lights up. So here we see the keyboard itself. Like they said, Cherry MX switches all the way around. It's very, very ergonomic looking. And the way that it's set up is kind of like an old school IBM keyboard. I don't know if you guys remember those. Now we've got it lit up. Everything's very, very easy accessible across the top, as you guys can see. This is actually not much different at all from a standard IBM keyboard, which is really good. IBM to me made some of the best keyboards ever. This doesn't go too much out of the way. And really with a keyboard, how crazy do you want to get in the design? You don't want to reinvent the wheel by any means whatsoever. So my system just booting up into Windows. There we go. You guys can hear the old Windows thing as we boot in. I'm not going to install all the drivers and everything on that. But up here on top, you guys can see, easily lit up. All your different stuff is right there. Then on the back right here, I've got a little sticker. I'm going to go ahead and take the sticker out. It says, note, the maximum current capacity of the USB port is 100 milliamps. Do not exceed or use as a charging power supply. So they're saying that with these particular plugs in the back here, do not plug your phone or anything like that. This is strictly for your peripheral. So we'll go ahead and pull that off there. Where well, you guys can see we have two USB ports. The headphone and microphone 3.5 millimeter jack are all located there as well. I'll go ahead and just put the sticker back on there. Now you guys can see the keyboard. It's very thin. It's not big and bulky. Here on the bottom, we have the Max keyboard name. We've got two little pivots right here to pivot and angle your keyboard. Soft rubber feet right here and rubber on the bottom of these as well. So when you flip the keyboard back over, it's as easy like that. And your wrist rest goes underneath there. And away you go. So can you dig it? Can you dig it? 149 bucks, totally mechanical. This thing's pretty ergonomic. I really do like the fact that you're gonna be able to basically change the keys off, make it any way that you guys want to see. Now also, for a list of those different types of products and stuff, we'll have that down there below the like button in the description where you guys can see all the information because these guys have actually a lot of different configurations and keyboards to look at even beyond this one. But this one was the Nighthawk. I think it's pretty badass. It's right in that good price range, about $149, which is kind of where all of the higher end ones are some even go you know up to the 200 300 range some a little bit lower but this is right in that kind of perfect spot where mechanical keyboards are at hope you guys like this video so you know what to do i'm alec we'll see you guys back here on tech tomorrow don't forget to sub if you like what you're seeing i'm out of here